Okay, now open Android Studio and start a new Android Studio project. Specify an application name. Here our application name is Action Mode Demo. Click Next. Click Next. Select an empty activity. Click Next. There is no need to change anything here and click Finish. Okay, now the project is created. So the first here I am going to add some dependencies for the application. Here we use some material widgets. So you need to add the needed dependencies. So open Gradle script file. Okay, now I copy this statement. And paste it here. So now first add the dependency for recycler view. Now add dependency for the card view. Ok now perform a project sync. Ok now the project sync is finishes close the Gradle script file. So now I am going to remove the default action bar of this application. Open resource folder, go to the values folder, open styles.xml. Now here I am going to change the current theme of the application into no action bar. This will remove the default action bar of this application. Now close this one. Okay, now the action bar is gone. So now instead of the action bar, we are going to add a toolbar. So we have to add a separate layout file for the toolbar. So right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file. Specify the file name as toolbar layout. and change the root element into toolbar. Select the toolbar from the support library and click OK. Ok now the toolbar layout is created. Go to the layout file. Now we need to change some parameter of this toolbar. So first here I am going to change the layout height into wrap content. Now specify an ID for the toolbar. I name it as toolbar. Now specify a background for the toolbar. Select the color primary from the color.xml file. Now we have to specify minimum height for the toolbar. Minimum height into action bar size ok now we need to apply some theme for the toolbar so here we need some additional xml namespace so I copy this statement and paste it here now change the namespace identifier into app also here also change this one into resource auto. So by using that newly created XML namespace we can apply some theme for the application. Here we need some dark action bar theme. Okay that's it. 
now we need to add something on the toolbar so here is our application so if the user make some long click you can see a text view is present on the toolbar so we have to add some text view to the toolbar for that here I am going to add some text view so add a relative layout specify the width as match parent height as wrap content now within this relative layout I am going to add some text view specify the width as wrap content height is also wrap content now simply add some text on the text view zero item selected now specify some id for the text view i name it as counter text now change the font size text size text size into 18 dp now change the text color android text color uh, we need some white color now change the text style text style into bold ok so now the toolbar is ready now look at the design now here we have a toolbar and that toolbar contain a text view now we need to add this toolbar to the main layout file that means activity main.xml file so go to the activity main.xml file go to the xml file so first here i am going to remove the margins there is no need of margins so now first here i am going to change the root element into a linear layout now we have to make some orientation for this layout and throw it uh, orientation into vertical now at the top of this layout we need the toolbar so here I am going to include the toolbar include and specify the layout name here the layout name is toolbar layout ok now the toolbar available on the main layout file now go to the main activity dot java we need to add the toolbar so here create some variables for toolbar so create a toolbar variable I name it as toolbar now we have to initialize these variables so toolbar equal to first typecast that one into toolbar now find it find the view by id r dot id dot toolbar now make the supported action bar into toolbar so set supported action bar into toolbar that's it and uh, now we can simply check the application so i just run the application now ok select the virtual device and click ok now open that virtual device ok now the application available on this virtual device now here is the main layout and here is our toolbar the toolbar contain a text view